In today's video, we will learn how to upload an ESP32 cam and that's coming up right after the intro. Every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials will include IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hausa. So in today's video, we'll learn how to upload to our ESP32 cam. I have been noticing some tutorials on how to upload to the ESP32 cam, but with the use of some kind of adapters. But most of you probably don't have one laying around, and luckily our Arduino Uno can replace these adapters, which I am sure most of you guys will have. The Arduino Uno can be used as a USB to TTL adapter. I will have two links in the description that help me out greatly with creating this video for you guys, so definitely check those out for more information. Also, I have an announcement to make, so stick till the end, but let's not waste any more time, let's jump right into it. Make sure you wire your ESP32 cam, like shown on screen now. Once you have done this, you want to set up the environment for this module. This will allow us to get the correct board and example files. I find my older video a bit outdated, so you can follow me now. Go to File, then Preferences, and add in this link. Check the description down below to copy the link. If you already have a link in there like me, then type comma and add in the link and press OK. This allows us to download the ESP32 example files and boards. So now go to Tools, then Board and click on Boards Manager and type in ESP32 and install. Now that you have the examples and boards, press File, then Examples, now ESP32 and select Camera and lastly, open up Camera Web Server. Once this is loaded, you'll notice that one of the libraries that we include here is called Wi-Fi.h. The problem with this is that the files that you just installed have included their own Wi-Fi.h just for the ESP32, so Arduino won't know which one to select. A quick fix would be to go to this location in your file explorer and change this file's name to Arduino Wi-Fi.h and press continue. Now we have to add in two libraries to keep things running smooth. The first library will ensure that your ESP32 cam won't continuously fail at connecting to the Wi-Fi. The second library is for a method that you have to add in the setup right now. This is to disable the brownout detector. This is actually GPIO0 that you will be unplugging soon. Now you'll have to comment this line and uncomment this line. This is because you aren't using the rover kit, but the AI Tinker. If you look to the back of your ESP32 cam, it says it right here. When you did that, you can fill in your SSID and password of your Wi-Fi, like so. After you fill this in, you can delete all of these lines, but you don't have to. If you do, then don't forget to change the elif to if right here. Now before you can upload, you have to check your board and make sure you selected ESP32 rover module. And have the same settings as me. Normally they should be the same as me, otherwise try changing the baud rate and megahertz. Once you did that you can try uploading. It may take a while, but don't worry if it fails. Sometimes it has some problems with connecting to your ESP32 cam, so try unplugging and plugging it back in and upload again. Otherwise leave a comment down below on what your er error is and I'll try to help you out if possible. Once you get to this point and it actually uploaded, you want to open up your serial monitor by pressing tools and then Serial Monitor. Now you can unplug GPIO pin 0 from your ESP32 cam and press the reset button on your ESP32 cam like so and then this will happen. Now you will notice the ESP32 cam will connect to your Wi-Fi and will display an IP address that you can copy and paste into your browser like so and press enter. Once here you get a user interface to control the ESP32 cam and its capabilities. To stream data, press the button Start Stream and as you can see you're able to see my door. Now my Arduino 
and if you press get still this is to get a still image now if you don't have an esp32 cam or esp32 yet or you would like one extra then i'm happy to let you know that i will be giving away a new one when i reach 15 patrons to able to win you have to be part of the all of my code tier which like the name says it will grant you access to all of my code and schematics from any of my previously made videos or future ones you can also select a higher tier if you want to becoming a patron really helps me out and if you want to support me and want me to create more of these videos then head over to my patreon page link for that down below or on screen now also there will be two links in the description down below from where i've got my esp32 cam one cheaper and one more expensive so that's it for today guys don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on the next video and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye world